Hey, what's up, guys? This is Misha from Periphery. And uh, over the course of these next few lessons, I'm going to be showing you um, some licks uh, from the album, uh, from our self-titled album. Uh, and really just like my approach as to how uh, I write and like approach like riff writing and arrangement, things like that. Uh, maybe not so much like the technical and theory side of things, because uh, I don't really know what I'm doing there. But it, it's kind of fun to just like take it from this other approach of just like writing a song like uh, you know, just by the way it sounds. Uh, so uh, maybe like a, a good place to start with that uh, would be uh, with uh, the song Buttersnips, uh, which has an awesome name, by the way. Um, and <laughs> like that song, uh, in, in some ways, is a, is, is a very uh, good way of showing like uh, how, I, how I approach riffs and like how I sort of like to mix up my influences a little bit. Um, just because like, I like to sort of have my cake and eat it when I write riffs and just, you know, have a little bit of, of movement, you know, on the fretboard, but also just everything has to just be melodic. I, I really like things that sound like, you know, like they're a line that makes sense or sinks on you're going somewhere. And so things have to resolve. And, you know, I don't like to just sort of collect riffs together and just like place them like chronologically or, you know, at random or anything like that. So this song sort of starts off with like this sort of, this sort of groove, you know, like this halftime groove, like. And the way that like I envision that is just like these two sort of riffs like fighting for attention. And you've got sort of this like, just sort of like, like a heavier thing if you sort of envision it like, you know? And then like, I've got this sort of like, um, Alan Holdsworthy uh, groove, huge influence by the way. Love him, listen to him if you don't already. Um, but like, uh, it's a sort of like, I mean, like for lab, lack of better description, it's just this like Holdsworthy style pattern, which is based around five notes. And I just kind of like um, move up a, a fret and move up a string. And, and like, that is actually how the song starts off is with that pattern. And like, because it's five notes, but the whole song is grooving around like, you know, a pulse of four. It sort of like rotates around the beat, you know. And and um, I I basically like chop that up to fit fit this riff. So it's like as I, I sort of think of it as like these two riffs fighting uh, each other because they're like chopping each other up, you know. And it's really just about feels, you know. It's not really. Like I'm trying to get like certain notes necessarily in on any of these riffs, so it's really just like feeling like improvising around these these moves that that I that I wanted to do. So here's the first half slow. One, two, three, four. And basically all that is is like I'm just playing around with the octaves, and that's something that I like to do a lot. Of. Like you get more motion even though you're using the same note, and like, so I'm just like hammering on to this note here on the 15th fret. I'm string skipping. You get like a wide range of notes like in no time, and that's something that like I really like to do. I, I don't really like when notes are uh, you know right next to each other so much, you know stuff like that. Uh, I, I like to like try to separate my notes a lot, um, and it's just sort of playing on that sort of feel, and and so instead of uh, hitting back on the octave, it goes to the the eleventh, and then it goes to that other riff, that that Holdsworthy riff around, and, like finishes off with that little slide there, and then back to this riff, but the variation is like going on the eighth fret here. So it's like kind of taking that feel and just shifting it down so that it still like sounds right, uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, and then like the variation here. Instead of. Um, and that's the first half of that riff. But that sort of shows like how, you, how I like to take these sort of different ideas and just jam them together and hope it sounds good. Even though like, if you were sort of to analyze it, it would be like all 16th notes. The interesting thing is the accents, and obviously the drums like hit those accents, so you really feel them uh, if you hear the song. But like, you know, all all of it is just 16th notes, but it's not hitting on the beat. And 
just basically syncopation, you know? Uh, and that's something that I really like to do because it sort of allows uh, you to freshen up a riff that, you know, uh, might have like some more basic ideas, but it, it won't sound so predictable because you won't exactly expect the beat to be hitting right where it is. Um, and it sort of gives the impression sometimes that maybe it's like in an odd time. Uh, but, you know, most of, most of uh, our material is actually like uh, based around 4-4 or like an even pulse, something that you, you, you can bob your head to. So it, it almost gives you like two ways of like looking at these, at these riffs. You could like follow just the accents or you could follow the pulse. 